President Biden is urging Americans to get vaccinated. It comes as a former Fox News executive is out with a blistering op-ed, bluntly saying the network is, quote, poison for America and its lies have had deadly consequences. Writing, quote, the channel has contributed substantially and directly to the unnecessary deaths of many Americans by disparaging the wearing of life-saving COVID masks, unquote. And, quote, again, the unnecessary deaths of many Americans by fueling hesitation and doubt about the efficacy and safety of life-saving COVID-19 vaccines. We're going to air some of this for context to show you what is being said as the country tries to fight off the virus. Why should I get back? I'm not even going to get my freedom back. You can travel freely, make a living, live life. If you take a couple of shots to the arm, am I the only one who sees a giant problem with that premise? I've been telling my friends I'm going to get the vaccine. I think I'm absolutely nuts. They wouldn't take it in a million years. I don't know who to listen to. Since COVID, Bill Gates has gained extraordinary powers over what you can and cannot do to your own body. Bill Gates would like you to take the coronavirus vaccine. That is a straight-up conspiracy theory scaring Americans who believe this nonsense. Right now, the four at least vaccinated states are red Trump states. They are at risk without the vaccine. 47% of Republicans say they likely won't get the vaccine. New Israeli data shows the Pfizer vaccine is less effective against the Delta variant. It protects 64% of people against Delta and is down 3%, but still 94% effective at preventing severe illness. President Biden today revealing new plans to vaccinate and pushing the message getting vaccinated is patriotic. If you're vaccinated, you're protected. But if you're unvaccinated, you're not. And you're putting yourself, more importantly, maybe from your perspective, your family and your friends at risk. So please get vaccinated now. It works for your neighborhood, for your country. It it sounds corny, but it's a patriotic thing to do. Joining me now is Dr. Eric Feigelding, an epidemiologist and senior fellow at the Federation of American Scientists. Dr. Feigelding, thank you so much. First off, I want to say uh, I have been following you on Twitter for a year. You're one of the best, most informed followers that I can find because you stick to the numbers. So first, I want to ask this. We just had a huge holiday weekend. People traveled. Many states no longer have mask mandates. Given this new Delta variant, Should we expect to see another rise in COVID cases over these coming days after people are getting together from the weekend? And if we don't, does that mean that we've we've moved past the danger point and are possibly in a safer future? Thanks for having me. And uh, thanks for following for the past year. What I'm trying to really warn is that Delta variant is not like any other variant. We're in act two of the pandemic. This is not the same pandemic that we had last year. Delta variant is faster. It's the most of contagious variant known to date, is more severe. It leads to four to five times greater risk of hospitalization than the old strain. And uh, it's one dose vaccine, very evasive. You really need two doses. And the Fauci and Biden have emphasized you need to get both doses. And the problem is the surge is already happening. Missouri hospitals are ready at full capacity. They're opening another ICU COVID ward. They're sending patients to other hospitals, to other states like Kansas. The, uh, the surge in Delta is already here. And just today, the CDC announced that Delta variant is now 51% of all COVID strains. It is now dominant in the United States, and it's only going to get worse. Dr. Feigelding, um, the CDC also announced today that, you know, not only we have this sort of new Delta variant coming through, but obviously it seems to it seems to be breaking through slightly better with Pfizer than some of the other vaccines. I want to clear this up because this sort of thing can sometimes lead to vaccine hesitancy. People saying they don't want to. Is there a real difference in one vaccine from another? I mean, that's not a crazy thing for thing, people to think about. But if you still haven't gotten vaccinated, would you say, does it matter if I get Pfizer, Moderna or Johnson and Johnson? Or would they all be equally safe in protecting someone against the Delta variant? Well, we uh, don't have enough data on the Johnson Johnson. We do not have real efficacy data. The best efficacy data we have is on the Pfizer vaccine and the AstraZeneca, which we don't have in the U.S. But Pfizer and Moderna are both really good vaccines. And the vaccines so far show that protecting you from hospitalization 
is about 93, 94%. That is great, but that is not as high as 98%, uh, 99% against hospitalization that we used to have. And Israel saw that drop from 98 to 93 within one month of the Delta variant arising for, for hospitalization protection. And the efficacy is a little bit lower than 95% we used to see. It's now uh, 64 to 70%, 75% against the Delta variant. That's still good for infection, but that also means that the virus will still, you can still be a carrier for the virus even if you're vaccinated. So this is part of why WHO and the CDC are knocking against each other. WHO says you need to, vac uh, you need to wear masks if vaccinated. CDC says you don't. And I think CDC is making a really grave mistake because half the country is not fully vaccinated and the other half that is, Again, only 64 to 75 percent efficacy against Delta variant. You're still carrying it along. So please, everyone, take precaution, double vaccinate, but at the same time, realize Delta variant is dangerous and it's rising and it will only get worse for the under vaccinated states. Dr. Eric Feigelding, thank you so very much.